And that was Group PPL has uh, agreed to buy back $1.26 billion of its shares uh, from the UK government uh, as the Treasury continues to sell down its stake uh, after a bailout during the financial crisis over a decade ago. Um, and the off-market purchase of 469.2 million shares will be made at Friday's closing price of 268.4 pence. According to a statement Monday, the deal will see the Treasury's voting to rights and the lender drop to about 38.6% from about 41.4% previously. Matt West shares were trading up 1.2% as of 11.13 a.m. in London, faring better than the FTSE 100. The government will keep other disposal options under active consideration, including by way of accelerated book builds when market conditions permit. By in April, the government extended uh, a plan to continue selling down uh, its stake in NetWest, which was around 84% uh, at its peak. Uh, the latest disposal means the UK has sold more than half its shareholding. This transaction reduces government ownership below 40% and demonstrates positive progress on the bank's strategic priorities and the path to privatization. Chief Executive Officer Alison Rose said in a statement, the UK remains NetWest's biggest shareholder about 15 years after the government rescued what was then the Bank of Scotland in a 45.5 billion pounds bailout. Several lender shares have recovered some of the losses suffered during this year's banking turmoil. RBC analyst Benjamin Toms uh, said by phone the government previously indicated uh, that its break-even price uh, on the bailout was about 400 pence uh, which not west stock hasn't reached in recent years uh, at this point the the government uh, is is arguably uh, just uh, really trying to maximize their returns rather than recoup uh, the original uh, investment in the stock tom said but its first quarter results last month now West guidance stoked worries that the boost to margins from higher interest rates was starting to fade. The bank is also due to extend the search for a new chair as Howard Davies, 72, prepares to step down by mid-2024. Uh, Goldman Sachs International is acting as a privatization advisor to the government uh, while the trading plan uh, is being managed by Morgan Stanley and Co. International PC.